All right guys, back out here at the pond. Main focus right here is gonna be this Timu popping frog. You guys hear me talk about it all the time. This has been a great frog. We're just gonna do, you know, the pearl belly, kind of green and chartreuse top to it there. Hexagon pattern, green and chartreuse strands to it. And um, I had one big bass on uh, like a week or two ago. I totally missed the blow up, so that's why I'm out here today. You know, these these fish should be feeding up in this pond. It is fall time. So let's see what happens, guys. Let's get fishing. Missed him. Had a bite right there. First bite of the day. What's nice about this time right now, or this time of year is a lot of this grass is dying off, so this pond is clearing up. Seems more fishable. I see like a lot of the grass has died off, you know? I feel like these fish should be shallow though. They should be, uh, whatever they feed on in this pond, they should be up shallow. I'm really looking for that big bass today. That's my main goal. He has hit the frog once, so I know, I know this is a lure he's interested in, so. And it does seem like he's hung out on this side of the pond as well. More so than any of the other part of the pond. And I've only seen him twice. I've seen him once on the bank back where I was just fishing and then he's blown up one time over in this over in this slop There's a fish. Oh, he got off. Switching up to a square bill here in a bluegill pattern. Gonna crank it above the grass. Gonna hold my rod tip up. These fish are gonna wanna eat something. That was literally first cast and first bite. So maybe, maybe we can get some fish on this thing. There's one. He got off too. There's one. All right, first fish. First fish of the day there. Nice little six cents, Crush 50X. Square bill crank, man. Roof of the mouth there. That's like three or four bites in the matter of two minutes that I started fishing this thing, so. I think that's probably the switch I needed. And maybe we can still get the big bass. Maybe we can still get the big bass to eat this square bill right here. Again, real natural color right there. Nice little bluegill, brim color. Probably one of the main forages in this pond for sure, so. Um, this is the best way to match the hatch in my book. But yeah, there we go. First one of the day. 
See if we can get some more. I'm going to be casting everywhere. Kind of like it's just a steady normal retrieve. And I can change the uh, the action of it with my with the reel handle. Speed it up, slow it down. Just figure out what they want to do. Once in a while, if I hit grass, I'll try to pop it out of there. There's a fish. Little, little guy. But he munched that square bill. They're not really biting too crazy. The first couple times I casted this thing, I had like four or five bites. Landed one, had like two different ones on. And then after that, it kind of just literally just stopped until this little guy just picked it up, but definitely eating that over the frog. Definitely eating this over the frog. Now I'm just gonna, I'm trying to sl slow roll it. Doesn't seem like they liked it fast. There's one. There we go, number three on the square bill. Nice little fish off that little bay right there. Not bad at all. Beautiful LMB right there. Little six cents. Nice looking bait. Still looking for that big one. That one big bass I know lives in here. I feel like if these little bass are, you know, are biting this bait, that might be a pattern. We find that big one though. There's a fish. There's another one. Not big by any means. Still looking for the big one. I see that's just a. That's just a little guy. There's one. About all the same size right there. But they really have picked up bite in the square bell, man. I'm gonna keep fishing it hard. Hopefully I pick up one of the bigger ones. There's one. Fat little chunk. Throwing a little Kytec now. I'm just just switching it up. A little Kytec. I'm actually using it on a little shaky head, but I'm just gonna swim it along the grass line. Picked up that nice little chunk. Fish are definitely stacked on this side of the pond for whatever reason. No clue why. So I haven't 
I haven't felt like I needed to move. There's one. Gosh, they're stacked on this side. I wonder why. Okay. Top of the nose right there, perfect. Not big, still looking for the big. He's got to be around. There's one. Well, he bit it and I might have side hooked him after he swiped at it. I side swiped it and I hooked him on the side a little bit, but another fish nonetheless. That was a big swirl. I don't know what that was. You guys see that swirl on the camera? I hope so. Is that big bass? Oh, there, that's him. Guys, that was the big bass. That was the big bass. He's trying to eat this little Kai Tech. Oh, he's big. He's really big. Oh, holy moly. See if we'll go after the frog because he blew up on top water on that thing. Shoot. All right, I'm gonna throw him this little live target, little shad shiner thing. It's a big fish. It is a very big fish. spot up. So big. I 
There's a fish. Nice looking bait. Forget exactly what that one is. I know it's, I think it's like a Bagley type bait. Um, definitely, I think pretty pricey too. I think these were like 25 bucks. These were like a little custom, custom style, but real nice. There's probably the biggest one of the day too. Through like seven different baits, trying to get that big fish to come back. Came out of nowhere and tried to eat that little Kai Tech, man. Kept throwing the Kai Tech too, and he didn't come back for it. Threw the topwater frog. frog. You know, following up that little topwater strike, he blew up on that little Kitek. Followed up with the, with the, there's another one. Followed up with the frog. Didn't get him. He didn't come back for it or nothing. This is a little guy. Fish are definitely liking the square bills. I'm going to throw, throw this around a little bit and then I'm going to tie a popper on. That's my last try. Try to get this big bass today, anyway. Man, he is big. There he was. Just had a bite. I think that was him. He missed it. I think that's him right there. Holy crap. How is he not getting this thing? There's a fish. The little guy. Right there. There's two bases he's missed. Alright guys, I'm trying to pop her. He has blown up on the baits I've been using. I'm going to try to get him with the popper, man.